Well, I'm out on the giant again today due to a little maintenance issue with the trek. But basically, I went out in the rain and got covered in mud. So it needs the chain cleaning off and re-lubing. And once I've done that, I'll be able to go trekking again. Not star trekking, obviously. Because that's something completely different. Is it just me? Or is there just 20 times more traffic than there's ever been? Wherever you go, down a little lane. Just meeting cars all the time. Anyway. So, in one of the videos, somebody commented that I didn't talk enough about the bike. So I'm going to tell you a bit more about it today. Those of you that don't know, this is a giant fast road SL2. And that means the group set is Sora. Shimano Sora. And it's safe to say that me and the giant had a fairly rocky start. First day I rode it, of course like whenever you get a new bike, it was raining and the bike felt really unstable. I was really uncomfortable with it. But I also found I felt like I was working harder and going slower. I wasn't. I was just going slower. I couldn't I couldn't seem to get any speed. I know I wasn't going any putting any more effort in because when I got back Strava was saying this was easier than your normal effort. And I also found I couldn't sit comfortably on the bike. then over a period of time and a bit of trial and error started to find the bike a bit more comfortable but the biggest the biggest change was changing the tyres because of the squirrely nature of the stock tyres that came with the bike, I suppose it must have been about October, I thought well, with winter coming, let's put on a gravel tyre. And that made a big difference. I felt much more confident with the bike. But even then, I can't really put a finger on exactly when it happened. But at some point, we just bonded. And now, I really, really like the bike. It's safe to say the Giant do make a very good bike. There's very little disc rub. 
the cable routing is neat the cable lengths are the way they should be just generally a really well assembled machine and Paul from MapDeck Cycles put a little video together talking about how there's a graph of risk versus reward with bikes so some bikes are really exciting really innovative and really just exciting to own but with that comes risk because these bikes require a lot of tinkering a lot of time in the workshop as the older generation like to say a lot of fettling I say that with my tongue firmly in my cheek because I'm not young so Giant is not a high risk bike but it punches above its weight in terms of enjoyment and that clicking sound you can hear I get that on the track as well so I'm pretty sure it's more to do with the interaction between my shoes and the pedals I really like the colour of this bike For some reason there's been a trend of manufacturers over the last couple of years really dull and boring colours matte black and battleship grey why did they decide that we didn't like colour colourful bikes and since I put the new tyres on the bike performs reasonably well over gravel tracks I mean don't get me wrong it's not a mountain bike I'm not going to try any single track or anything silly like that but back to the colours I really don't understand why manufacturers only give you one choice in most cases if you want the 105 spec bike it's battleship grey you go yeah but can't they have a blue one nope you have to go down to a lower spec one if you want a blue one I mean with a car you choose your spec then they ask you what colour you want it why can't they do the same with bikes I think maybe it's a status thing because somebody will ride past you on his battleship grey bike and sneer <laughs> look at that cheapskate on the lower spec model so all of this newfound love has got me wondering if I should upgrade the bike I'm really keen to even though there's nothing really wrong with it and in my last video I was talking about technology for technology's sake so there's a little bit of hypocrisy I suppose but I do feel that as I'm not that young going up hills would be easier with 11 cogs on the back instead of 9 
and the shifting might be a bit smoother although I'm pretty sure this Sora setup is significantly better than the Dura Ace I used to have on my race bike years ago I was one of the first to try it when everybody else was running Campag and some people laughed at me oh, Jap crap I wonder what they think now but the next problem is everything's changed you can't just put a 105 derailleur on and a new cassette because you need a narrower chain and you need a new front neck and you need a new chain ring and it just goes on and on I don't know if you can just put a 105 crank set onto this giant or are there compatibility issues with the bottom bracket and in fact if any of you know leave me a comment but that's really what I'm thinking of converting it to 105 but then again is it cheaper just to buy a new bike because group sets are really expensive and the other thing that I'd really like to do is put a narrower bar on it if you buy a fast road in a small size it comes with a 580mm bar but you don't seem to be able to get one as a spare part and then the final thing I'd like to do is put some Ergon grips on but of course as usual as soon as you find something you decide you want one they're not available anywhere which is now pretty common in Brexit Britain unfortunately So the upshot is really, really like the fast road and I'm also thinking that maybe my days of being leaned over in the drops of a sports bike are over I mean I very rarely ride the trek in the drops maybe flat bar riding is the future and there are some nice flat bar bikes in my day in my racing days flat bar bike was only used for doing the shopping for delivering the mail but now there are some really high performance flat bar bikes although I do wonder again whether there is any real advantage the carbon frames and all of these kind of things oh we've redone the bridge so I'll let you know what transpires whether I do upgrade the bike or not You're thinking about buying a giant fast road I would certainly recommend it <laughs>